Hi, we're Silas and Andrea. Join us as we explore the beautiful and wild Costa Rica. We discovered waterfalls and hot springs and learned how to surf, camped out along the way, and enjoyed some incredible scenic drives. Sit back and relax and enjoy a taste of the Pura Vida lifestyle. Well, here we are at our accommodations for the night, Don Rafa's, and we're gonna we're gonna take their tour up the river to a waterfall. It's like a mile of walking in the river, and we're gonna have lunch, and we get to camp here tonight. We have a car, so we're pretty mobile, and camping gear. It's for race our tour. Yep, tour time. So we're heading out on a little trip up uh, the river here to go see some waterfalls. Just me, Andrea, and our guide, Luis. <laughs> We just made it back to Don Rafa's. I definitely would recommend that waterfall tour. It was incredible. Mm, I'm hungry. Looks good. Well, that was an incredibly filling lunch. Neither one of us could finish our plate. It was so much food. We just came back to the camp and we're gonna set up our bed area, um, but I'll show you a little tour of our accommodations. Going up these stairs, a nice little platform. Very cozy. Looks like we even have water. Did we get anything? Yeah. Here's our lovely bathroom. <laughs> it's evening time, about five-ish. The weather feels perfect. It's like 75 degrees. Um, just boiling some water over here. We're gonna make a cup of tea and spend the evening sitting down by the river, soaking in the beauty. Yeah, I can see now. I still have some of that clay on my face. <laughs> I've been anointed by Costa Rica officially. Good morning. We have another bright sunny blue sky day here in Costa Rica. We're just starting into Rincon de la Vieja National Park where there's hiking to waterfalls. A trail to the summit too but it, the caldera is active right now so they're saying not to go there. We're covered up head to toe because there's tons of biting bugs here. <laughs> and I just want to eat us alive. <laughs> wow this tree is so cool. Here and some howler monkeys not too far off here. Be cool to catch a glimpse. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear me over the sound of the waterfall, but we made it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, there are all these signs saying that swimming is prohibited. So we're just going to respect the rules. So 
of our hike to the second waterfall. It's a bit of that kicker. About 90 degrees out. It's all in the sun and all uphill. <laughs> It's a nice view this way too. <laughs> Quite a few miles today. It's really, really fun and got to see some cool stuff. Quite rewarding. We're on our way to a frosty blended drink somewhere. Go get some dinner. I have a typical Costa Rican lunch. Casado with beef. So we're just checking out here of the place we stayed last night, Airbnb called uh, Aroma da Campo. And it was a really nice spot. It was like $78 a night. Here's one of our friends. Oh yes. But we're off and we had a great time. So thank you, Aroma da Campo. We are taking the scenic route to Monte Verde. It's this really cool area, but a super narrow, windy road. Almost had a tour bus take our rear view mirror out. The scenery is absolutely gorgeous. Turn right on the Central Commercial. We have arrived at our Airbnb for the next two days in Monte Verde. We're just gonna unload and then go find a restaurant and get some dinner. So this is downtown Santa Elena, right next to Monte Verde. We just arrived at the parking lot. It's like a little transfer station to get up to the Cloud Forest. So we'll wait here. Oh, looks Your like bus. our bus just arrived. There are options to take a tour and that definitely get a lot more information and they have the scopes and everything, but we opted to just do it ourselves. We get to explore until 4 p.m. today. So rugged. Down the bridge. Oh man, it kind of makes me a little queasy to look down. Yeah, I hear the river, and we're heading to a waterfall. We were driving along, we discovered this food co-op. Actually got some sauerkraut. I'm really happy about that. Well, we're just about ready to kind of wrap up our stay here in Monte Verde. Just 
perfect day outside as far as temperature. I think we're gonna hit the road and head up to Lake Aranon. This is such a beautiful scenic drive. It's stunning. Every oh, oh you can see the lake. Oh, we landed in a pretty nice little campsite here, right on the shore of Lake Arnall, and stay here for the night. Just sounding this bridge. There's the river. The question is, do we trust this bridge? Can you hear the river? We're by a river. We yeah. found another really sweet camping spot. It's got a little covered roof with light and running water. I'm really stoked to be here. It's gorgeous. Well, you're swimming. <laughs> It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. Sun is starting to set. So I'm soaking up some sun and we have a giant watermelon that we plan on eating for dinner. We'll catch you in the morning. Good night. We're leaving Finca de Nacha and headed to the hot springs. Well, we made it to Tavacon Hot Springs. These are the free ones. It's kind of just like a really warm river. Yeah, it's probably, what do you think, just about 100 degrees or something, 90, yeah. 98. It's not really super nice. hot. Quite pleasant. Getting a nice massage, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrotherapy. Got kind of a hectic day here at the Hot Springs, kicking <laughs> back and relaxing. Because you know the world is beautiful, so beautiful. Made it to mm. our camp spot in La Fortuna. Pretty much just a lawn though. It's super cheap, we think. Maybe a thousand or two th thousand colones. We're gonna see if we can get into the hot springs tonight. Maybe give the guy at the gate a beer or two to let us in. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is it. Grassy lawn, voila. Bathrooms over there, home for the night. I have a feeling it was going to rain.
One of the pluses of this campsite is there are hot springs here. So it costs about 10 US dollars for Sai and I both to come in and so we just got here. So I'm gonna just kind of cruise around and check it out. Ooh, they even have water slides. Let's test the temperature. That's not hot. Well, I think we found a hot one. Uh, right behind me is the source of the hot water. I'm guessing maybe like 104? Oh, we're gonna sleep good tonight, sweetie. We got our <laughs> little campsite, five minute walk away. Mm -hmm. So we're just about wrapped up here in La Fortuna and uh, we'll be heading east towards the Caribbean. Ooh, mm. sunshine and ocean and beaches. What is like an imaginary number? Give us. Are we landed in Manzanillo and we're gonna got our room and we're having some lunch. What'd you order? I ordered some chicken off the grill. It's kind of what pulled us in because we drove past and it was just like all oh, this meat cooking on the grill and you can smell it and it's got a nice like pasta vibe. It's got a good vibe. We're looking forward to it. Pretty good, huh? Got some really good barbecue. Well, that was such a hearty lunch that we had that we decided to go walk some of it off in this nearby national park. But it does close in like 30 minutes, so we don't have a lot of time. Oops, Sai's calling me over here. Another wet one in Costa Rica. I was really hoping for some sun today, but it rained all night and it's raining again this morning. But we are in a really nice Airbnb that we found in Manzanillo. Sai is right now getting us a little fruit cut up for breakfast in a cute little kitchen. I'll show you. There he is, getting breakfast going. We waited and we got it perfectly right to tie it here. It smells so good. After a slow morning of just kicking back, we set out to complete our hike from the day before. Lots of flowers here. It's a pretty popular park, lots of people here, but it's actually a perfect day for it. Just slightly overcast, a little bit of blue sky. A Apparent that most people don't make it this far. I think it's the mud that deters them. It's Everybody. very slow going, super slick. Gotta be careful on every step. But we're almost there. down the main drag in Porto Viejo. It's a pretty active, lively scene here. Lots of shops, restaurants, people, tourists. And we're just looking for a place to eat.
It feels pretty awesome. The sun is so good. Not cold, not hot. And we found this nice little cute little part of the beach and we have the water all to ourselves. Nice little cove with palm trees. We're gonna go try to camp out by a lake tonight. We scored a really sweet campsite here at Turrialba, right on the lake with beautiful views of the volcano. I think we're gonna stay two nights. Sai so got us a nice fire going. I'm working on a salad right now. I'm going to add some avocado, some lime salt, olive oil, and we're going to cook up some sausages. Got our cocoa water. It's going to be great. so hard last night. It's beautiful, the weather's like perfect. On a kind of a peninsula on a little lake here, a really quiet campground, and free wood, running water, and a beautiful view. We love our fried plantains. <laughs> They're so good. Mm, they smell I good. these every day. They smell good from here. We just arrived at Guayabo. These are some ancient ruins. So we're starting the hike through some very dense jungle. And I don't really know what to expect. We soon came upon an artifact that is believed to symbolically represent the alliance between two separate tribes. This area was populated around 1000 BCE. Guayabo was excavated in the late 1800s. It consists of dozens of stone foundations, three aqueducts, multiple tombs, and two major roadways. Standing right by the Calzada Caraga Road, kind of the main route from the from the, the huts, the palinques, down to a big house that's down at the end here we're heading towards. It's still unknown today why the site was abandoned. Should we get some lunch and then hit the river? Definitely. another beautiful sunny warm day in Costa Rica. I really love this area of Costa Rica. It's just absolutely gorgeous but we're gonna move on. We want to see as much of the country as we can. We don't know where we're gonna sleep tonight. We always end up figuring it out in the end. <laughs> so I just went up to go take a shower. I'm gonna sit here and just do a little embroidery and enjoy the last few moments of peace and quiet at this serene lake. You were wonderful. So good to us. <laughs> onward and onward. I think this might be the steepest, windiest road yet. Definitely one lane. Nowhere to pass. Luckily we haven't met anyone coming up. We have arrived to a primo campsite. We're camped right by this really pretty river. 
steep and it just cascades down pretty cold. Kind of a cloud forest here and there's quetzals in the area. There's some nesting quetzals right nearby that we hope to see in the morning. I guess they come out early in the morning. For now, I'm just gonna take in this beautiful river. like this better than Monte Verde. <laughs> Korean soup. We came for the three course dinner here at the little local restaurant. Looks good. Our final course is dessert. Six o'clock in the morning here at the campground, and we're gonna head out and see if we can find the quetzals that kind of frequent this uh, area up here in the mornings. Morning's the best time to see them, and we already saw the spotters go, so yeah. we're gonna like trail behind them. <laughs> There'll be a little crowd up here. This is what happens when there's a quetzal spotting. Well, we have a little frenzy because there's a quetzal in that tree right now. Open a little opening there, and I'll try to zoom in just a little bit. Really, really good view of the Ketsabe. The reason that, that they come to that tree is it's a it's a wild avocado, and there's these little tiny avocados out of him. Come to the wild avocado, and that's the best chance of finding them. So we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful area. Like it's each camp just seems like it gets better and better, and I think this is my new favorite. Let's go cook breakfast. I'm gonna um, whip up the usual: some fried plantain and papaya with some lime, and then we also have some ripe pineapple. Having another breakfast of champions here in this beautiful place. After breakfast, we shared some coconut water with our new friends, Martina and Gerhard. They had traveled from Germany to overland across the Americas. Well, another great part about this campsite is there's a whole trail system here, and we're en route to go find the waterfall. We got a half pack tent and a three quarter pack car. Breakfast under our belt, and we got a beautiful day to try to get out of this place. It's a steep, windy drive up, and I'm just hope we don't meet a lot of traffic coming down. What you getting ready for? We got a hike to a peak just off the side of the highway. Pretty cool trail. It's not going to be long, but it's steep and interesting. And it gets to a rocky point with views of the coast, I think. Pacific coast, that is. We made it to the top! Well, we've just arrived at the farmer's market in San Isidro de la Hut General. It looks like a pretty good size, so we're gonna go walk around and see if we can find some goodies. Well, so far very impressed with this market. There's quite a variety here, um, and we're just enjoying walking around and seeing what everyone has to offer. I would say that was a success. We made out big. We got Watermelon, oranges, mango, um, cucumber, radishes, Arugula. sourdough bread, hot sauce. 
cheese. I don't know. It, we're pretty loaded. It's pretty good. We're going to go find a nice place where we can go feast and hopefully find some shade because it is very hot. Squeaky cheese. All right, my dear, there's yours. Just trying to figure out where we're going to sleep tonight. It seems like there's a lot of Wi-Fi down and um, our cellular data is not working for some reason. Maybe but we got plenty of time to figure it out. The sweet little puppy dog, he's been so good that we had to give him some snacks. And now we're buds. Camping spot up here. Forget the town, but it's, uh, it was on Iowerlander. Jeffrey is a very gracious host, and he showed us around, gave us some information about the place. I'll probably see more in the morning. It's kind of late and dark, so we're gonna crack into a watermelon and just have a little little refreshment and kind of kick back and relax. How's my hair look? Oh, beautiful, <laughs> darling. I just got it hair dress. Good morning. You probably hear the cicadas. As soon as the sun came out, they just all went off like a little symphony. It's pretty loud. We're just going to go take a little walk down and check out some petro petroglyphs? Or petroglyphs. 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 Size taking a shower right now, and then we're going to head to San Vito and hit up the Wilson Botanical Garden. So there's main trails and jungle trails, and we ended up wandering onto the Long Loop Jungle Trail. Jungle Trail through the through the intact forest. Looks like we have a type of orchid here. Well, we just arrived at our next camp for the night. This is Casa Viva. It's down on the beach, down from the town of Vita. Near what they call the whale's tail. And what are the chances that we'd find our friends, our German friends that we met? So it already kind of feels like home. But after this, we're definitely going into the water. So it's very, very hot out. <laughs> We're finally gonna get some hot beach time. And it's like really nice waves. Feast. Me and Martina mm -hmm. are working it over here. Some salad going. I got veggies for the grill, onions, and zucchini all cut up, salt and peppered, and we're just waiting for the fire to get ready. Yum! Got a long drive ahead of us. I think we should probably 
kind of pack up and if we're gonna make it all the way to Montezuma, we need to get moving. We are in line at the ticket office to get onto the ferry in Punta Arenas. The back of the line. <laughs> yeah, the back of the line. It's Around the corner. Quite long. <laughs> Officially on the Nicoya Peninsula and drive into our camp for the night. We ended up finding a great camp spot on the beach. We're in Montezuma on the coast, right on the ocean. We have the whole campsite to ourselves. It's only six dollars per person per night. The showers are super clean, the bathroom is super clean, but we had a really long day of driving. We're just gonna crawl into bed and get cozy and maybe read for a little bit. Crossing. We're gonna go scout it out. in Samara a couple hours ago. We had some lunch, we got our camp, we made reservations for our surf school, and now we're just gonna walk around the town and check it out. We do need to find a bank because we're out of cash. So that's priority number one. Good morning. Stoked to be here. We decided that we were going to spend the rest of our trip in Samara because we've just fallen in love with this town. Got such a chill vibe. We're, our camp's right on the beach. We just had our coffee and we're going to take a little stroll and then hopefully dive into more surfing. some waves this morning but it really wasn't much of anything um, we waited and we waited and there's just like flat water um, so we just did a little boogie boarding instead and chillaxing on the beach
we met Tanya, a fellow traveler from Switzerland, who so graciously shared her craft supplies and taught us the art of dotting. That's what I got. Ooh, so pretty. Costa Rica has moved into my heart. Three and a half weeks wasn't nearly long enough. It's our fly out day today. We're packing up the tent. We have a two, three hour drive to get to the airport. We gotta be at the airport at 11, drop car off, hop on the plane, and heading back to town. Osa Peninsula, we're coming for you next time. Probably a whole nother month, mm -hmm. month of new stuff here. <laughs> It's pretty windy and dusty here right now, so we're just thinking we're just gonna pack up and head out and find some breakfast on the road somewhere. Thanks for watching! <laughs> Love you guys! Until next time! Cheers! Cheers.